is an old Italian fairy tale. It's called The Little Shepherd. Once long ago, there lived a little shepherd. Every day, the shepherds do. He would lead his sheep out to the sunny meadows where they would graze on sweet grass. And every afternoon, he would bring them home. But this little shepherd was small and puny and mean. And no one in his village liked him because he was always playing tricks on people he had never met. Well, one day, the little shepherd was walking down the sunny lane in front of his sheep when he saw an old woman with a basket of eggs balanced right up on top of her head. The little shepherd laughed, picked up a rock, and whoosh, threw it. It flew through the air, and it landed whoosh, right in the eggs in the basket. Every one of them broke and dripped down over the old woman's face. She saw him standing there, and she said, so, you think you're very clever, don't you, little boy? Well, from this moment on, you will never grow an inch. Never. Until you find lovely bog cleaner of the three singing apples. And suddenly, <laughs> she disappeared in a cloud of bad-smelling purple smoke. And the little shepherd realized too late he had broken the eggs of an old witch. Well, he went home where he lived with his mother, but you know, from that day on, no matter how much he ate, no matter how far he walked, he could no longer grow. He remained small and puny and mean until finally a year passed, and his mother asked, My son, my son, why is it that you will not grow? And he replied, Oh, mother, once I broke the eggs in an old woman's basket, and she told me if I did not find lovely Bargaglina of the three singing apples, I'd never grow. Ah, <gasps> said his mother, is that all? Well, you've got to go out into the world and find lovely Bargaglina, wherever she is. So his mother gave him a crust of bread and a bag of water and out into the world all by himself. The little shepherd walked. And he walked for a day until his path led to a sunny bridge over a mighty, thundering river. And out upon the bridge, he saw something. Why, it was a tiny fairy. She was taking a bath in a teacup. She heard him, though, as she walked onto her bridge, and she called out, He didn't know what to say. He walked right up and said, Oh, um, uh, friend, friend, open my eyelids so I can see you, Papa. And ever so carefully, he knelt down and he opened the two tiny eyelids of the fairy. Up she looked at him and she asked, Oh, what do you want? Oh, I'm the little shepherd. I'm looking for lovely Bargaglina of the three singing apples. gave him a green stone. Well, he thanked her very much. He put it in his pocket and he walked for yet another day. Until his path led to a second mighty bridge over yet another thundering river. 
And out upon this bridge, he saw another tiny fairy. This one, however, was taking her bath in a walnut shell. She heard him, though, as he walked onto her bridge, and she called out, Who goes there? Well, he knew what to say. He walked right up and said, Oh, uh, friend, friend, open my eyelids so I can see you better. And once again, ever so carefully, he knelt down and he opened the two tiny eyelids of the fairy. Up she looked at him and she asked, Oh, I'm, I'm looking for lovely Bargaglina of the three singing apples. Ooh, never heard of her. But here, take this comb. It may help you someday. And the tiny fairy gave him a comb. Well, he combed his hair with it. He thanked her very much. He put it in his pocket with the stone. And he walked. But this time, his path did not lead to sunny bridges. But instead. misty forest it led him. The mist in the forest was so thick he could barely see his hands in front of his face. And as he crept along he could hear the sounds of wild animals. <coughs> what was that? <coughs> he crept along until he came to the edge of a lake. And there, kneeling by the water's edge, was a funny-looking old man who wore a long silvery beard that touched the water. And the old man was taking the fog that floated on the water, and he was putting it into a bag. Well, now you see now little fog in the bag. <laughs> fog in the bag. Oh yes, oh yes. Just a little more fog now. In the bag. When all at once the old man saw the little shepherd. Who? What do you want? Who are you? What do you want? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm the little shepherd. I'm just looking, looking for lovely Bargaglina of the three singing apples. Ooh! Ha ha! Never heard of her. However, take this bag of fog, there, my don't you? It may help you someday. And not knowing whether to be grateful or afraid, the little shepherd took the bag of fog and he ran. Until he ran right out of the mist. And he saw that the waterfall that tumbled from the lake's end swept swiftly down a mountainside in the bright sunlight. It looked as if diamonds were leaping and dancing above the river's rocks. So he followed it along, down into the valley and into a deep green forest. Walking along the river, it grew finally deep and quiet, but that was when the little shepherd heard a strange sound. 